Hello, let's take a look at how you can use the rule of 12 in conjunction with the Paul Runyon chipping method to become a pretty good chipper very quickly. Uh, the rule of 12 probably seems super mathematic, analytical, but I assure you with a couple of uh, minutes of practice you'll figure it out. Here's a couple of examples. Um, the first example will start top left. In this instance, uh, we've decided that we want to carry the ball two yards onto the green. So uh, two yards is our base unit. And then how many yards is it from where we want to carry it on the green to the pin? Well, that's four. So we split that four into our base units. Four divided by two is two. And then we take that number of two and subtract it from 12. That gives us 10. 10 in the rule of 12 is a pitching wedge. So if we hit our pitching wedge two yards in this instance, it should roll about four yards and go in the cup. Second example on the bottom of the screen, we want to carry this ball three. Okay, so three is our base unit. And you're picking a spot that's on the green, away from the fringe, something you can pretty uh, routinely do without messing up. So pretty much everybody can carry a ball three yards pretty accurately with this chipping technique that I'll show you in a little bit. So our base unit is three, okay? And then there are three yards between our carry spot and the pin. So three divided by three is one. 12 minus one is 11. 11 gives us the gap wedge. If 10 is our pitching wedge, then we're going one more would be gap wedge. Okay, and then the last example on the right, this one, we're just barely off the green. We're only trying to carry it one yard onto the green. So one is our base unit, and then there are five yards between our carry spot and the pin. So there are five units of roll. 12 minus five is seven, and this one's a little easier to understand. Seven equals a seven iron. Okay, and then we talked about the Runyon method, and uh, Paul Runyon talks about uh, basically creating a one lever swing when you chip. He advocated the same grip for the uh, putter and for the chipper. I would uh, argue that that probably is a little outdated because the greens now are, are too fast to use this grip, but you can try it. Uh, for chipping, though, it's wonderful. Gets your wrists out of it. Basically talks about your hands opposing each other at uh, 45 degrees. Your left hand, if you're a right-handed player, is 45 degrees under the grip, and then the right hand is uh, 45 degrees under the other way. And he says they oppose each other a total of 90 degrees. Uh, just take a look at that illustration up in the top left. And uh, play around with it. The hands are split in this grip. And um, basically you play the ball a little bit back in your stance, weight forward. And essentially you're just putting the ball. Uh, here's a video of an example of using the rule of 12 and the Runyon chipping technique. See if I can get these bad boys out of here. Goodbye. Okay, so here we go. We got a shot that's come up, a uh, pretty good shot, about three paces onto the green. You don't want to putt this because it's real grainy fringe, so we're going to chip it. Okay, let's figure out how many units of carry. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to put down my chip. Three is our base unit. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. The best part about this method, too, is that it looks really cool when you walk like this on the green. The competitors are like, whoa, that's awesome. How many units, Clay? Two units of roll. What is 12 minus 2? Oh, it's our pitching wedge. Here's a, another look at that Runyon chipping technique. Got our hands opposing each other. Total of 90 degrees. And then we're uh, lifting the heel of the club off of the ground. Ball is back in our stance, and then we just have a one lever putting motion, all arms, no wrists. Trying to carry that bad boy three yards, and roll it out six. Perfect. All right, here's a new one. This one, I think, is only two yards of carry, so two is our base unit. Two. How many twos do we got? One, two, three. Okay. 3 minus 12 is 9. So we want to hit the 9 iron. 
And again, this is assuming a pretty flat green here. You got to put a little artistry into it if you have a severely uphill or downhill chip or if you're into the grain, down grain, that kind of thing. But this is pretty flat chip. If I hit my 9 iron right by my spot, it should be pretty darn close. The best part about this thing to me is it just it eliminates a variable of doubt when you're chipping. It gives you an educated guess on what club to use and then you, you're basically just putting to that spot. Okay, here's another one. One, two, three, four yards. So four is our base unit. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. So that one, you're gonna get these every once in a while where it's kind of a tweener. Uh, from practicing with this, I find that it's better to, to uh, take the lesser of the clubs so we're gonna say that one is our number here 12 minus 1 is 11 11 gives me the gap wedge and this technique seems to work up until about five or six yards of carry then you're getting into pitching the ball even when you miss hit him a little bit it's such a simple technique with such little face rotation um, Paul Runyon really came up with a pretty foolproof method here. Okay, this one we've only got one unit of carry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six minus 12, or I guess the persnickety folks will say 12 minus six is six. So we're going to hit our six iron. One more look at the grip there. Oh, yeah. Hands are split, they oppose each other, total of 90 degrees, left hand is under 45, right hand is under 45. A little bit open stance seems to work best for me, balls in the back of the stance, weight forward. The arms are connected to the body at 45 degrees, Runyon talks about. And he said that uh, you give him this method, he'd be better than somebody putting it. It's up to you to decide that. But uh, give it a try, rule of 12 with the Runyon chipping technique. There's all sorts of great stuff on Paul Runyon on YouTube. Thanks to Brad Larden for initially turning me on to Paul Runyon teching, uh, chipping technique. And uh, good, uh, good luck to you. Happy chipping and cheerio.